So today I have the Flux headsets by SteelSeries, the Guild Wars 2 one and the luxury version and uh, we're going to do unboxings and overviews of them but let's first look at the luxury headset. The luxury headset is supposed to be the nicer version of the standard and has a little bit more accessories than the Guild Wars 2 one. Other than that, the Guild Wars 2 one is Guild Wars 2 themed so it's you're buying the name of Guild Wars 2, that's about it. So, uh, there's the Guild Wars 2 headset. It pops open a little. Nice display case if you wanted to buy it as a collector's item. And then we have the luxury version, which kind of just pops off. I'm going to take this out of here. Oh, I'm going to take the whole thing out. So we have the headset. We have an extension cable for your PC. It's got a green and orange one for a mic and thing, mic and headset, little carrying pouch. I don't know if these headsets will fit in this, but that'll be pretty neat if they do. And then some documentation on their flux headsets, so you have to take them apart and like flux them to make them fit better on your head. So they come pre-detached, so you don't have to worry about that. There's the two different ports on the bottom for headsets. They have 90 degrees lay flat one way and then less than about 10 the other. So that's different. And then you can flex them to make them fit better on your head. A little plastic piece up on the headband. That's going to be annoying. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Nothing can be easy. If it was easy, it wouldn't be fun. There. We go. So these have little leatherette cushions instead of cloth. The Guild Wars 2 one has cloth. It's really soft. I'd compare it to the Razor Kraken Pro because that's what I have as the plushiness of them. Let's see if they fit good. Yeah, they fit pretty nice. Like, you'd think most people would want bigger ones. Like, I have the Corsair 2100s and stuff that go over my ears. I never really had one that goes on the ear. But, or maybe I need to make it bigger. Because I have a little bit bigger head. Oh, yeah. that's They have a little bit of noise cancellation, so I'm probably going to talk a little bit louder. But, um, here's the two ear cups that go on the sides of them. You can pop those off. I'll show you that in a minute. But they have a little bit of noise cancellation, not too bad, but if you want to be able to hear something like outside of them, you're probably going to want to do what, you know, you know, when it's one ear thing. Like you wouldn't think that these would cancel out a lot of sound. They actually cancel quite a fair bit amount of sound. The mic is the thicker of the two parts. The one for your phone is actually a lot, no, this one's, this is one for the phone? This one's for the phone, okay. The phone one is a lot thinner, a lot thinner than the PC one. So I'm interested to see how quality will be for that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to test the headphone, the, yeah I can, I can do it with my laptop. But it'll be uh, later in the video. I'll just attach that at a later point of the demonstrations of the mic. But here's the one for your phone, it's uh, it's pretty long. I don't know how long that would be. It's not six feet. It's probably about four feet. But it's enough to go from you know the headset down to your pants. Or you can put it in your pocket. You can put it in either side, left or right. There's a trick to these why you can do that, but I'll show that in a minute. But I like them on the left because that's where most standard headsets come on. For the side face plates, there are little magnets in them that just pop off. And you can put the regular ones on it. Like a pin hole. So you can have flux on it, or you can just make them black so it's not as, you know, outstanding. I'll put the flux back on it for now. 
So, uh, yeah, you got that. And then the mic sits right about here. So about a couple inches from your mouth. And then it has a right angled three pin connector that goes to your phone or tablet or other device. That's beside the point. Now, the other thing I wanted to know, do these indeed fit in this bag? They fold up really small. I think they do. They do. They fit in this bag. That is really cool. I did not expect that to happen. Wow. You want a pair of compact headphones to take around, go traveling with, use them on your phone, take them on flight, do whatever with, on car rides, and not have to worry about lugging a big pair of headsets? Uh, wow. Those, I didn't think they would fold up that much. Wow. Okay. Get this trash out of the way. And then show off this one, which is the one that has the two separate ends that go to your computer. And then it's just got a standard one that goes up to the headset because the third pole comes from the mic that's down here. And this is just a probably six foot extension for the PC one. I'm not going to unwrap that right now because I have a couple of them laying around, which is fine. Put this there, Put the mics, set those aside. I'm going to get to the Guild Wars 2 one. So it just pops open. I have no idea how to take it open from here. Oh, it's on the top. I'm going to butcher this box. I'll do it. I'll butcher it. This box will be unrecognizable. So it just pops open from the top. Slides on out. Along with documentation and other crap that falls out with it. I'll go over both documentations in a minute. This is for the... Oh, they're about the same. No, they're not. Okay, I'll go over those in a second. I don't care about the paperwork. I care about the hardware. Come on. Who cares about paperwork? You only go to the paperwork when you can't figure out something, right? Come on. They're definitely strapped in here, made to, they're not going to bounce around. So once again, um, they have the same headset piece on the top of it, which is probably to pull it out, I'm an idiot and didn't use it that way. But that's beside the point. Wow, that's some nice plush. I like cloth better than leather myself, but... Those are actually pretty comfortable, and these have cloth, and it's not as, you know, squishy. Like, the resistance on the leather ones, on the luxury ones, is more than the Guild Wars 2's cloth ones. But they still flex. You can flex them around to fit your head better. Pull it up just a little bit. And these have, I'd say, just about a little bit less noise cancellation, because they're you know, cloth instead of the leathers. But, uh, the other thing I've noticed, the luxury one comes with more accessories. So the Guild Wars 2 one, you're really just paying for the name of having Guild Wars 2. You can probably, I know you can buy the, um, mics separate. Those are, uh, 15 bucks standard on SteelSeries website. So I can if I really wanted to, which I probably am at some later point, this is really long, I'm going to go buy one of the cables for this headset for my phone and this one is way more than six feet actually I bet you this is longer than the other one because it doesn't come with an extender uh, this is about six feet so this comes with about a six foot cable and let's see here this one let's do a size comparison between these and see if they're about the same nope I can already tell you right now they're not because there's the end of it. <laughs> the other one's got a good three or four feet left on it. So the Guild Wars 2 one comes with a way longer um, mic cable on it. Because it doesn't come with a extension. So don't worry about needing an extension, I'm pretty sure. 
so you can put it in the left or right. This one sits just about the same point off to the side and has a really long mic cable. Of course, my computer is sitting right there, so I don't, I mean, I could reach over right now and plug it in. I'm probably going to do that so I can do an audio quality test, but that'll be in a minute. So, let's see here. I wonder how far these, I'm pretty sure they're going to fold up the same because they're the same headset. Just different brandings on them. Yeah, it fits and if you got the luxury one and the Guild Wars 2 one, you can use the same pouch for both. I didn't expect that to be different. I mean, unless they made it so these just couldn't fold up as much, but that'd be ridiculous since they're both called the Flux. So this one is the Flux Luxury headset uh, booklet. Booklet. So we got a Steel Series sticker. The Professional Gaming Gear Guide. Yep, this is them trying to say, hey, look, we have more than just headsets. We have keyboards, mouse pads, and other stuff. This one is, uh, to avoid permanent hearing damage, always use your sound equipment safe volumes. A flux guide, because the flux series is supposed to be highly customizable. So, yep, here it is. You can, <laughs> wow, here's what they've done. With this sheet of paper, they've added every little thing they can with every version of Flux, and they've made it so you can have 1,152 different models of Flux. And I'm sure that doesn't count if you did Luxury Edition or just black and white. That's pretty cool. So, this one is saying, here's the one of the questions I had, but I looked it up before I even thought about it. They have two pass-throughs on each side so you can plug it in left or right so what these are made for is if so I want to do this with my Guild Wars headset and then that to go to my computer you can take the green cable from the Guild Wars 2 headset plug it up to the flux the other headset any, uh, any other flux headset it doesn't have to be flux I'm sure you can take you know any I can probably take my Caracas or something and plug it into one of them. And then... That is a really short cable now that I'm looking at it. You can take the other side of one headset and go to phone, computer, or something else. So I'm going to plug in now. And then this headset gets sound and it will pass through to the next headset. I actually got two Guild Wars 2 headsets and one luxury headset, so I'm going to find out if I can put a total of four headsets in a chain. You just daisy chain them as far as it'll go. I don't know how much power these pass through, or if the audio quality will drop compared to you know the next one down. Those are all questions that I had. I'm going to answer them because nobody else seems to have thought of that. <laughs> but I'm already getting sounds in the headset just from there's no being audio and I have something feeding back in my room. I haven't figured out what, what that is yet. So now we're going to move on to Guild Wars 2 packet. Another badge sticker thing, more gaming gear, different gaming gear, I like that, oh wait, that might be the other side of it, yep, same packet, they're just folded differently, so that the first thing you look at when you get in here is, I uh, just put it in backwards, whatever, same warning, same flux, saying that there's 1,152 versions of it, same don't plug the thing that this is warning you, if you get the luxury one, it comes with both headset things. You don't want to plug in your computer and your phone or something else into it. So I don't want to take it to, you know, you don't want to do that. Unless this is going to another headset. You don't want to put another, you know, another computer or something into it. That can fry the headset. 
because both computers or both devices are going to be trying to feed the headset power, and that can possibly blow out the drivers in them, which, therefore, you would have a dead headset. That would be your fault, not theirs. I don't think they would do RMA on that. I don't know. You'd have to call them and ask them. I'm not planning to break mine. This one comes with a guide. Quick start guide. The Flux other one, the luxury one, didn't seem to do that. Yeah, it did. I'm ahead of myself because I didn't finish. Because I don't really care about paperwork. In case you didn't notice. That's them saying that you flux it around. Don't have really good lighting back here, but flux it around so it'll fit better on your head. And... I don't know why these are saying... Oh, this is just the free thing. Anyway. Free, dumb to play. They're advertising their um, mobile Bluetooth headset and stuff. But the quick start guides are actually different. This one just says flux head start quick start guide and this one actually says Guild Wars 2 flux guide. I'm just telling you all about the device in four or five different languages. And that's it for paperwork. And then you can also, if you really wanted to, if you got two headsets, take the Guild Wars 2 logo off, put the black ones on the Guild Wars 2 one. That's kind of funny. Alright, so now we're going to move on to audio quality tests to see how they sound. Okay, so I have sound going through my headsets and I'm going to plug up these and see if the sound from the main headset being driven gets dropped down any. So, let's see how that does. Okay, so... When you plug up another headset down the daisy chain, it does drop down the volume from the main headset. So you just have to turn up the volume from the uh, main source of the music or audio. Okay, so the sound quality in them are pretty decent. They're not the greatest, but they're not the worst. Um, they're 40 millimeter drivers in each of them. They have a little bit more bass than they do up highs. I'm not an audiophile, but I do like like a lot of music. Uh, these get really hot on your ear, the luxury ones. They, the leather on them get really hot around your ears. And the Guild Wars 2's mesh cloth doesn't. Uh, these are actually a little bit softer on my ears as well. I have sensitive ears. These kind of aren't, but that could be because I just opened them out of the box. And some, of, some headsets take, you know, 100 hours and they need to be set in. So, other than that, they're, they are really good headsets. They aren't the greatest sounding, but they're good for what they are and what they're made to do. They're, you know, really lightweight. They're made to, you know, be able to fold up and go with you pretty much wherever you want. Um, I'll go ahead and attach the um, audio, the mic quality tests now. So, check those out. Okay, so this is the test with the SkillSeries Flux Luxury Editions mic. I'm currently at just 100% volume and zero microphone boost. In the advanced tab, I have it set to two channel 16 bit when uh, 192,000 hertz. Um, from what I've noticed, it doesn't sound any different, but if you put it to the highest quality, it's only going to use as much as it needs. So I did that. Um, you can change that if you want. I, didn't, I don't think I'm going to notice a boost. I'll change it in a minute, I think. But if you can't hear me good right now, and you probably are turning up your volume, turn it back down for a second because I'm going to do the microphone boost. That's at 10 dB extra on the microphone. I'm going to boost it up again to 20. Now it's at 20 dB boost. And uh, generally you don't want to do this if you have a choice, but in some cases you have to for team speak and other things. And uh, now I'm going to bump it up to 30. Now I'm at 30 dB extra. Either the background noise is going to be blaring or I'm going to be really loud, either one. I'm trying not to yell. So um, that's at 30 dB. Generally, I'm backing down at zero now. You want to be down here. This is where you want to try to keep your mic at if you have a choice, because otherwise you get a lot of extra background noise. So now we're going to move on to the um, Guild Wars 2 mic. Okay, this is the Guild Wars 2 headset with its mic, and um, currently I'm at 100% level with uh, 0 dB boost. So I'm gonna, it's still at 192,000 hertz, so it's using however much it wants, but I haven't noticed the difference if I raise it or lower it. Um, I'm going to bump it up to 10 dB now. Now I'm at 10 dB extra, so now it should be a little bit louder. I'm going to bump it up to 20 now. 
That's the wrong way. Now I'm at 20, so now I should be a little bit louder. And I think I hear it rubbing on my shirt, so sorry about that. Um, I'm going to hold it out of here so it avoids that, but you shouldn't have to. From the mic, it's on this uh, the outside side, so it's not picking it up if I twir twirl it over to right here. I think that's where it should be, but I don't know, but it naturally wants to hang right about there, so it's hanging out that way. But uh, if I let it hang down, it kind of turns into my shirt, so I probably sound like crap right about now. Uh, if I turn it a little bit, I mean, it might train itself so it lays like that, or I can rotate it up here maybe. I don't know. I haven't read the documentation of how you're supposed to hang it, but there you go. That's a little bit better. So you might just need to play with it a little bit if you're wanting to talk to your friends with it. That way, if you know you're moving around or something, or using, you you probably want to push to talk to using this headset. But uh, all right, now I'm gonna boost up to 30 in case you still can't hear me. Now I'm at 30, that which is really loud. So you shouldn't need to go this high with any mic, but yeah, you might need to. So that's 30, and if I tap on the desk, you can probably really hear it. So now I'm gonna drop it back down to zero. Now we're back at zero and I have it turned on so I can hear myself and now I pretty much can't so I don't know if you're if uh, this mic's a little bit different than the luxury ones but I'll let the video and you be the judge so that's this mic okay so this is the uh, Steel Series luxury version with the mobile version mic on it so uh, it's the 310 uh, this laptop for some reason only goes up to 48,000 Hertz two channel 16 bit so that's what it's at currently and it only has one thing for a um, microphone boost. It's Windows 8.1. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But um, the microphone boost is on and off. So I don't know what it's actually going to put it at. But um, other than that, um, this is it at 100% level. And I'm going to turn on microphone boost now. I don't know what it's going to do. So now microphone boost is supposedly on. I don't know if it's like an automatic type deal or what. I just updated the drivers and everything. Nothing changed. So, um, yeah, this should still be sounding pretty good, but I don't know. So, yeah, other than that, um, using the Guild Wars 2 headset on Skype, with Skype having its automatic update your thing deal, where it auto, -le auto levels your volume, it needs to be on plus 10 dB, and it puts it about 90, 92% level. So that's just something to note. It does up your, it does want you to up your volume to do plus 10 dB. So it does add a little bit of uh, background noise. I don't know how much that's going to affect anybody, but the people I was talking to on Skype, they said with it on zero dB at 100%, it was really low and they could barely hear me. So you will need to put on some um, boost when you plug in your mics. Uh, I'm going to leave the boost on. So that's this is it with the boost on. I'll do one more test with it off. Now it's supposedly off. I don't, like, I have it playing in my head, and I don't readily hear anything different, so I don't know. Um, it could just be that 8.1 and this laptop doesn't have really good built-in drivers, so that could be it. Don't judge based off of it. The only other thing that I can really plug something into would be my phone, and I don't have a good way to record that. But the microphone effects in Realtek, um audio manager is disabled all so I have all of the audio effects turned off and I'll put it on VoIP and voice recognition so now it's supposedly on VoIP and voice recognition and then this is voice recording I just clicked it I don't know I don't readily hear anything that it did so I don't know so um, other than that that's all the mic tests and um, just one quick Skype call with the Guild Wars 2 headset showed that it does want you to boost up your mic volume a little bit because it is really low. Other than that, all of these headsets are really nice and comfy. The Guild Wars 2 headset so it feels great and it works really good for Skype. It's not too bad. It's not too, you know, heavy on your ears. If you like smaller headsets, these are really good for you. If you want portable headsets, these are really good for you. The one thing I don't like is that the Guild Wars 2 mic didn't come with a uh, mobile version because that's really what I wanted it for was to be able to take it and go with around with it. But, um, because this is actually a gift for somebody, wink wink. So, uh, this isn't mine to keep. Um, I will probably be buying one of these for the Guild Wars 2 headset, just so I can take it around and plug it in my laptop. My laptop only has the one. You can go get, you know, the 3 pin to 2 pin splitter. Um, I haven't had really good experiences with them. The one that I got was crappy. It ended up only going one way with volume stuff, so...
like microphone went to the laptop, but sound didn't come from the laptop up. I don't know if that was cords issue or not. I just really haven't tried. Other than that, that should be about all. Um, this is recorded off of my Samsung Ultrabook. So I have an unboxing and overview of that as well. It's the i7 35 something, 70U or something. 3 gigahertz when it's turboed. Um, it's really good. I, I like this laptop a lot. It, it has some things I don't like about it, but other than that, it's pretty good. That's just if anybody was wondering. Anyway, that's all for these headsets, and um, stay tuned because I got some Guild Wars 2 mice in case you saw those earlier. Wink, wink. See you guys later.